So Ricky, what do we got today? So today we are doing a review of the cord-free, hassle-free Dyson V8 Absolute vacuum cleaner. So stay tuned. So this is my second Dyson. I had the DC33 as well, and I had that for about five or six years, and I loved it. Was it, it was it cordless? It was not. Okay. Which is the main reason why we got this, right? Okay. So the DC33 worked really well. We didn't have much of an issue with it, but really the problem was we found that we cleaned the house and vacuumed, I hate to admit this, but probably like once every two weeks or every 10 days or so. And it was because oftentimes it was just a lot of work to pull it out and it wasn't very easy to clean certain things. What I found is going cordless, this thing is really light. It has a really good feel in the hand. It has, it's very well balanced. The long tube is aluminum, so it's very light. So the main reason why we went this route was because we had carpets when we bought the DC33 and now we have all tile and hardwood. And so the it did have a couple of attachments that worked pretty well on hardwood floors, but this thing is really, really awesome because it comes with a couple of different attachments for just that purpose. So this is your kind of rug and you want to hold it up in there. This is the rug and hardwood floor attachment. It's really good for carpet or rugs. So if you have a carpet um, or a lot of rugs, this will be what you would use. I mentioned that this is the Dyson V8 Absolute. So let's break that down a little bit. V8 is their latest and greatest right now. It has 40 minute runtime. It has their new higher output motor and it's also quieter. It's not, it's not cool too bad. Noise. It's it not sound, too bad. The, the precision and the quality of this motor and the motor controller is, is superb. Um, it feels like it'll run for a really, really long time. And actually, this has better suction than my DC33, believe it or not. It's not like I'm making a compromise to go cordless. This is actually a better performing vacuum cleaner in every way. And your DC33 was Correct. through 15 or 12 amps or whatever. Correct. And, and it was plug-in. And it was plug-in and it was big and bulky and yeah, right. all that good stuff. Right. So, and then the absolute means that you get every attachment, including this right here. This is, this is what separates the absolute from the animal, which, so the animal has all the attachments we're gonna show you, but the absolute adds in this bare floor tool that's specially designed. It's sort of, I think they sometimes call it a soft and fluffy tool, but essentially it is designed to work on laminate or hardwood or tile, anything that's not carpet essentially. And um, by, by themselves, these are, these are about $120. So even if you have the Animal V8 already or even the V6, you can, you, you can buy this attachment separately and add it on. Yeah, and 120 might sound like the price of an entire vacuum cleaner. And by, uh, Dyson is by no means a cheap vacuum cleaner company. But this does have its own motor drive. So this provides the suction power and this actually has a motor drive that spins the head. And you'll notice here, yeah, there's actually can, there's electrical connections here, exactly. right? So tell, tell us so, how those, those work. I don't so. know if you can see that in the camera here, but right here at the bottom of all these, of all the V8 mm -hmm. rod style vacuums, there's a, power there's a power system that goes in the bottom of the tube. So the tube assembly has it that passes it through. And if you didn't want to use that, you could just plug it in directly. And now when you hit the, you'll see that the, the motor is also, that the motor is also spinning. So that's, Partly why it's so expensive is that it's not just a dumb right. attachment. It actually has its own kind of okay. motor and drive assembly. On cool. It. So we have the we have the main attachment for, this is for carpet, right? Yep. Then we've got this one, which is for bare floors. What else do we have here? So then we have, I don't know what you'd call this, but it's like a crevice tool that can, well, this is the, so this is the, the this is a crevice tool. I think I think this is what I end up using the most because I have a Dyson non cordless. It's a, a animal ball animal, I think, or something like that. But this is the only other one that we use regularly because we mostly have carpet, so it's good where to get to the edges. Yeah, get to the edges. So that's kind of like the edge tool. So I've actually been using this mainly in the car. Ah, so yes. <laughs> we're, my wife and I are notorious for getting French fries and, and that kind of stuff. Right. Between the car seat, this helps get in there really easily. I always have coconut cream pies kind of jammed. Like I, they totally. just they fall out of they fall out of your on my lap and my pockets. And <laughs> can this handle a coconut cream pie? Over like if you. Go over it enough times. How much times? How many times do you have to empty that to, to get a whole <laughs> coconut cream pie? Like three. So we'll we'll, we'll talk about the kind of. What's the coconut the cream pie rating, rating of yeah. that? That's what I want to. I would okay. say that's largely untested. So this is the high reach tool for up in the corners, and if you need more suction, if it's a harder surface, you've got kind of a of a hard edge. So there's we got that. Okay. Cool. What is this thing? So this I've been using. 
for, exactly, kind of like a dust buster. Okay. So what's really great about this and why I never liked dusting before is, let's say like above a, a ceiling fan or like a bookshelf, you feel like all you're doing is agitating the dust and putting it back into the air. Now with this, you plug it in and you're not just dusting, you're, you know, you're sucking it back up. And then this is actually probably the reason why we bought this and this is the fabric upholstery attachment. Okay. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, so it's kind of like a mini floor attachment, but right. it has really nice soft bristles that we found to work pretty well with our upholstered uh, couches. Mm -hmm. And it works really well, and it allows you to be able to hit it at different angles. So mm. if like, let's say for example, you want to do it like that, or you want to get over the top. That's pretty cool. Throw pillows and all that, all that sort of stuff. Oh, you know what else I heard that, I haven't done it yet, but I have, I think I have this attachment, I haven't used it. I think this is really good for mattresses. So you take off your sheets, and you want to vacuum your mattress, get dander and other things off, this thing is really good for mattresses. So those are the attachments, that's the breakdown. The wand works with every attachment. You can go directly to the Dyson or you can go through the wand to the Dyson and that works with everything. Some of the highlights of the unit itself, first of all, it has a couple of filters. You know, what I love about the Dysons is these filters almost never get dirty because the Cyclone technology really, really works and not much is left to have to be HEPA filtered before it comes back out to the air. Mm -hmm. So that, I mean, what that really does is it keeps, it basically keeps as much dust as possible in the unit and not putting back out into the air, right? That's right. what this this does? Right. And you said there's a second filter. Right here. Oh, wow. And oh, I that's, Is that the intake filter? This is the or is that exhaust. The, oh, that's this the exhaust. The, that's the motor exhaust. So without, yeah, so the air actually comes out like okay. 100 miles an hour through there. And this is the last bit before it comes out into the atmosphere again. Dude, this but is just so nice. Look it at is. That. It just, I mean, it's just, and they just, they don't get dirty very often. I think in our DC33, we, we clean the, the actual filter yeah. bits maybe like once a year or like three times. So the Cyclone technology is fantastic. It was kind of their call to fame and that's the, the gasket for the, for the assembly. There's a couple of other things. So it has a rechargeable battery pack that's not replaceable, but if your battery dies on you, you can buy a new okay. assembly and change the battery. So one thing I would, I would have wished that they included was the ability to have like just a battery pack. Mm -hmm. You can have two of them, have one in the charger uh, charged and ready. Totally agree. And then come in and just swap them out. You cannot do that. But the good news is, and this is why I didn't buy the V6, because the V6 had 20 minute battery life. But that 20 minutes is if you were just running the suction. Okay. The minute you have a motor assembly on it, that time was cut, I think, in, in half. Wow, so now minutes. we're talking 10 minutes of runtime. Okay. I mean, that would just be kind of crazy. This is 40 minutes with like 25 minutes of runtime with the motor attachments. And by the way, that V6 or the older generation cordless, I remember reading reviews like it works great, but it doesn't even last long enough to get the job done. And I always avoided it. Exactly. But now I really want to look at getting one of these because um, we have stairs that are carpeted. And the truth is even getting the Dyson with its long hose isn't, it just, we don't vacuum the stairs, but once or twice a year. And right. with something like this, I mean, we don't even need that long attachment. We can right. put something, a small one and just go right, right to town in probably five minutes, knock it out. I had no interest in the V6. I felt like it was their first version, the first iteration of this cordless model design, which I think is their future. I don't really see them making other kinds of vacuums. They might have like one ball and then this will be where all their R&D goes. But the V8 is definitely a recommendation for me. This was the model that I think I was ready to buy and that's why I did. The other thing is on the top, you have your normal power. So the 40 minute runtime is for suction only, okay. normal run, okay. normal run speed. If you have like a very, dirty area or some hard to reach place, you can put it in the maximum mode and it sounds like this. Wow. All right. And I, I think at that speed, the battery might be, you know, maybe five, half. Five minutes, 10 <laughs> minutes. I mean, but hey. I haven't really tried it, but to be honest. If you're cleaning your car and you want to just get out there and, get, and you don't have to go over an area right. more than a couple times, you could go max and you right. know, it's a small area. The reason why the battery life is not as big of an issue as you might be thinking is because you control the trigger and it's just a trigger right here. That means that you don't have to keep it running while you're moving from spot to spot you, or if you're moving it forward and back. You can just control it and run it when you want. And I have an 1800 square foot house and I'm able to clean all four rooms and the living room and some of the couches and stuff on one charge. It's pretty impressive. And that's pretty impressive. And it's so easy and quick to just move from room to room. You're not unplugging it and plugging it and holding the cord and dangling it. And it's just, it's a breeze. And I find that the main reason why I'm so happy with this is because we clean more often than we ever did before. And we clean things that we never cleaned before. So in the past, in the past, we never 
really clean the drapes very often. I think my wife would throw them in the washing machine like once a year. But now to clean the drapes or to clean the couches, it's so easy that we do it more often. And the main reason why you should think about this is if you have pets, these kinds of attachments and the suction power and just how well this thing performs is kind of like a must have if you have pets. We were so happy with it. We were really stressed when we got our couches. We were wondering, you know, having pets, is it gonna just become okay. a nightmare, but it does a great job. And we're gonna have some field tests and we're gonna kinda take some hair and some other things and show you some of the real world examples of how this thing performs. So this thing has, it looks like a little DC jack there, but how does the charging system work? This is another example of the great Dyson Engineering, but they actually have a mount that mounts to your wall. Installation is really easy. There's two screws. Okay. They include the drywall attachment, the anchor, the drywall anchor, and then a couple of screws. So if you just anywhere in your house, and this unit is pretty enough, it's like the most beautiful vacuum you're probably gonna ever see, that you can just hang it out in the room or in a closet, but we actually put it in our garage, just right outside, when you open the door, it's right there, and okay. you can just hang it up and grab it whenever you need to. If it was completely dead, about how long does it take to recharge fully? Yeah, I don't think this is the fastest charging unit in the world. I'd say five hours okay. to charge. Okay. But the idea is, instead of cleaning your house once a month or twice a month, you could just take it out and clean it every couple of days, just some different area, a rug or something, and it'll always be charged and ready for you. One thing I really like about Dyson, and look at this, they put a huge sticker right on the back that says, you have a problem? It doesn't even say that, it just says, Dyson, here's our web address, here's our phone number. We're, we're there to help you. I love that. I love companies that just make it, like we're not ashamed to say, reach out for help because we're here to help you because quite frankly, it's probably you. It's probably, it's probably user error or it's probably something very simple and we're happy to help you with it. Right. So that's really great, I love that. So we both have had Dyson's in the past. I had mine for seven years, you had yours for 10 or 11? Yeah, so let me just quickly tell you. I bought, we were contemplating buying a Dyson, um, our first Dyson about 12 years ago, 2005. A lot of money, 450 at the time. We went ahead and just did it because I think they had a sat satisfaction guarantee. And we just, I mean, we, it was incredible. And that same vacuum, we've recently replaced it, but our sons now use that same vacuum. So now it's going on 12 years old. Wow. We haven't done anything to it. The only thing is the filters that we've replaced. And so um, it's kind of a long-term investment and it still does just as good of a job 12 years later as it did when we bought it. So now let's get to the elephant in the room. The reason why you're probably watching this video is because I don't think we really have to sell you on Dyson. I think people know that as far as vacuums go, Dyson's probably the best vacuum you can buy. But the bigger question is, is it worth the five or $600 price point? Yeah, so, so what, the, let's talk about this. What is, what is the absolute cost retail? So the Dyson Absolute is $599. $599, and the Animal, which just, the only thing the Animal does not have is the soft, fuzzy floor attachment. How much is the Animal? The Animal is $499. Okay, so we're not talking, this is this is big bucks for a yeah, lot of people, this, including us. This yeah. is not, <laughs> this is, this is a lot of money. This is a serious investment, but you have to think of it a little bit differently than the average vacuum cleaner. You're gonna have this for probably five, six, seven, eight years. When your battery pack starts acting up, you can replace that and everything else is probably gonna still be working really well. The quality of their motor and motor controller are second to none. I don't think I've ever seen a product that has this quality. And by the way, the V8 does have a stronger motor than the V6 as well. Good. So it's not just nice. runtime, but it's actually a stronger, better suction motor as well. So Ricky, I got a couple questions for you while we wrap up. 600 bucks you spent on this thing. How do you feel about that $600 investment given that you've had a DC33, another Dyson product for seven years now? Yeah, we, we went back and forth a few times and we finally decided to just pull the trigger and get it. We knew that we wouldn't regret it. We knew we just had to suck it up, make the purchase, and that we would be cleaning our house more often. Our house has never been cleaner. We, we, we use this probably every other day just for some spot areas or pick one room, clean that one room. It just becomes a lot less of a chore compared to like, I gotta clean my entire house. I gotta get the vacuum out and move it around. It'll take me hours. This thing is a breeze. Another little, little fun fact, I've always been the spider catcher killer in the house. Mm -hmm. My wife will call me whatever hour and I'll, you know. now with this, all she does is plug it in, grab it wherever she goes and she can just suck up the spider and- Poor spiders. Yeah, well. That's okay. Yeah, and that goes for mosquitoes, mosquito hawks, or whatever the case might be, little critters. We don't have a lot of, we have a little area of laminate, so I think I'm gonna get an animal at $500. If I need the, the hard floor attachment, I'll buy it later. So being able to clean your floors, hardwood floors, carpet, rugs, drapes, your couches, 
chairs, upholstery, basically. upholstery cars, mattresses, mattresses. Um, this becomes the one tool that you need. So again, it probably replaces a couple of different things. Or, yeah. And I think you're you're gonna keep things cleaner than you would have before because the the cost of entry to cleaning is just undocking it, and yeah. you're in business, and that's incredible. So I'm I am I'm gonna get one. Yeah. So I have one. You're gonna get one. Our recommendation is definitely a buy, but we understand that the price might not be for everybody and we totally understand. There's probably good competitors out there. Watch some other videos, do some light yeah. work. But if you're looking to make a very long-term investment for cleaning in your house, I would say that I would recommend this very, very highly. It is a fantastic product and we just love it. I'm Chris. I'm Ricky. We're 2-Bit DaVinci and if you could please give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it, that's fine. Give us a comment if you have any comments or questions. And you know, if you like these kind of videos, subscribe. It helps us out. And we do have Amazon affiliate links that also help us out, put a few pennies in our pocket, allow us to buy more gear and do more reviews on it. And if you have any other questions or any comment or anything else, this is YouTube. Leave us a comment, we'll get back to you guys. And as always, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, have a good one.